Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you, Olivia? Fine, thank you. Fine. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Every day better. Yes. Every day you get yes, very good. Thank God. Very thank good. God. Yes, very good, Elio. And how was your day? Well, busy as all at every day, but uh, uh, with a terrible weather, the, the the climate is so hot in in La Union. I, I, yes, I, I think everywhere is is kind of hot, right? Right now. Yes. Yes, of course. Very good. Hopefully, but, it's going to to get better. Also, the the weather. Do you know something about that, or it's going to stay the same? I I think that it's going to be the same all these days because the we are waiting for raining, mm -hmm. but. It doesn't come exactly. Do you, think, do you think that we're going to have a drought? I say again, drought. Yeah, do you think that we are going to have a drought? Sequia, I think so. Yes, I think so. Yes, that would be terrible, right? That yes, would be terrible. bad. <laughs> Hopefully, yes. we will have a little bit of rain. Very good. Let's see. Thank you for being here. Ana Maria, Rafael, Claudia, Alejandra. And good evening. Hello. Good evening, Jose Isaias and Diego. Okay, as you already know, tomorrow we won't have classes because it's Mother's Day. Do you do you celebrate yes. Mother's Day? Yes. I already uh, made a reservation from for my mother, for my mother-in-law, for my nanny. <laughs> for everybody. So, yeah. Okay, that's great that everybody will celebrate tomorrow. Yeah, actually, um, yeah, probably I will celebrate, but I don't know what to do because everything will be so full, like the restaurants. And that's that's a good idea, right, to uh, make a reservation before, right? So... But yes. actually, <laughs> actually, I don't know what will happen tomorrow, but I, I will have to plan something. So that's the reason why we are not going to have classes on um on Wednesday, right? Tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. Probably we are not going to have classes because we are missing three, right? Uh, after this one, we are just missing two classes. That will be Thursday, May 11th. And... Uh, Friday, May 12th, right? And then we finish everything. But right now, I'm, I didn't know because I, I will have some problems with the internet on Thursday and on Friday. So probably we won't have classes on Thursday and Friday. Um, probably we will um, we will replace the these days on Monday 15 and Tuesday 16. But I will let you know on Thursday in the... In, in the morning, I will let you know that if, if that is going to happen because I won't have any internet connection, right? And I have prepared the classes and everything or, already. Uh, the, those are the last two. But I just, um, I don't know if I will have like internet connection. That's the problem. But if probably on Monday, I will, everything will be fixed. So we're going to have it on Monday and Tuesday, 15 and 16. I'm so sorry if you had plans for those days, but remember that those will be just uh, the last two classes. Uh, I guess that you already finished the platform. Mo well, actually, most of you finished. Uh, I don't know if you have any problems or any question about that. Preguntas de eso, problemas con la plataforma? No, everything's okay. Okay, remember that you have you need the eighty percent of the platform, and you will receive your diploma. So um, that's it, right? If you have questions or issues or anything, uh, let me know, and I will try to help you. Now, for today's class, we're going to continue with uh, defining relative clauses, non-defining relative clauses. We have studied a little bit of that, 
And also we already, or we already know what a clause is. We already know like relative pronouns, they create clauses, right? And they have they are extra information, right? From sentences. So let me see here. This is a little review. Okay, let's see. I need a volunteer to read um the green screen, right? The green paragraph. It says, although that is a common uh, alternative to who, right? Okay. I can do it. Okay, please. If you want. Okay. I don't okay. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what happened. Okay. Although <laughs> although that is a common alternative to who, which, and defining relative clauses, it cannot be used in non-defining clauses. For this reason, it may be advisable mm -hmm. to train your your students what? your students oh your students uh -huh. to, oh sorry i have a problem with my cell phone to a student to always use who wish in both kinds of clauses to avoid error exactly so we use who for people right and which for animals or, or things but it cannot be used in non-defining clauses. So that's why probably we need to use who and which, right? Because they are more specific. Uh, whom, right? Whom, it's also sometimes used as a relative pronoun instead of who, to refer to the object of the verb in the relative clause or after prepositions. For example, she's the woman whom I met yesterday. So I use whom instead of who, right? He's the man to whom I spoke yesterday. A quien, verdad? It's like a quien le hablé ayer, verdad? A quien conocí ayer. Is like, uh, that would be the equivalent in Spanish. Um, Instead of saying a quien conocí ayer, puedo decir a quien conocí ayer, verdad? Whom. Mm -hmm. That is the meaning. It says, it is much less common and more formal than who. You... Yeah, actually, that is the, the only difference. And we have two examples here. It says, Steve Jobs is the man who co-founded Apple Inc. We already know that this is a defining relative clause because it's important information. And Steve Jobs, who was born in 1955, is the man who co-founded Apple Inc. So who was born in 1955 is a non-defining relative clause. And that is not important information. That is just extra information, right? So um, try not to uh, confuse, right? Who and which. Remember who is for people. Those are some normal mistakes that people make. Uh, also using the personal pronoun, right? He's the man who he works, right? Who he works with my father. No, that is incorrect, right? And also using that, that in a non-defining relative clause. The film that won an Oscar in 1999 will be shown on TV tonight for the first time. So in non that's why we don't use non-defining relative clauses with that, right? That we try to omit that, right? We, we use which or who. That's the information that um, Anna was reading. So do you have questions about this? Preguntas? Do you still have some doubts or how do we use it? Anything? No? Okay. Now questions. Yes, Elise. Question. Uh, S T S students. Student. Yes, it's like an abbreviation, right? Students, right? It's like a note. Yes. yes. Student. The first time that I see here. Yes, actually I took this from a book. So that is the information that I found in the book, right? So I, th I thought it was going to be easy. So uh, interesting. So um, students, isn't the abbreviation that this book is using? Thank you. Okay. Now it is your turn since you don't have any questions about defining relative clauses and you don't have any questions about non-defining relative clauses. We are going to practice, right? This is speaking. So in groups, we're going to talk about people, right? Things, places that you admire or that you like, right? For example, a famous dead person who you admire. 
and we have here a picture right of a famous actress right or a famous living person that you admire probably an actor a player a soccer player or an iconic landmark that you really like i have here also a country whose design you admire or an everyday object that you own that you think has a beautiful design or an object you would like to own that you think has a, a beautiful design, right? So anything that you admire, people, a place, a thing. And then we are going to use um, defining relative clauses or non-defining relative clauses to describe this, right? For example, um, Elio thinks that, um, I don't know, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo who plays in in Europe, right, or who used to play in Real Madrid is the best soccer player in the world, right? So we are going to try to write one sentence with a uh, defining relative clause. That's it. Questions about uh, the activity that we are going to do right now? Preguntas de lo que vamos a hacer en este momento? Okay, we're going to use our, our microphones, right? Try to open your microphones and try to have a very good connection with your internet because we are going to work in groups, probably three people, two people. You are going to talk about something that you like, something that you admire. It can be a place, a thing, a, a, a person, right? So we're going to do this right now. Let's see, I'm going to open them. the groups right now. Okay, let's see. We are about 12 people. Team. Okay, so um, I want you, once we come back uh, of this uh, speaking exercise, I will ask you about a relative clauses, right? Like for example, Ana Maria or Rafael or Jose, right? Uh, what did you talk about? What, what is the person or the places that uh, your classmates admire? So I want you to use uh, defining relative clauses, right? The sentences with these clauses, right? For you to tell me what you talked about. So I will give you around 10 minutes for you to do that. And then we are going to come back. You can join right now. If you want to, you can share the, the the screen and I will share a screenshot from this exercise in the WhatsApp group, okay? Just let me see here, okay. Okay, now you have the information there and you can start working right now.
Okay. Um, the frame is that person. Mm, I don't know what I <laughs> about what to speak about these topics. I don't know if you want to tell something. Well, I talking about a, a famous person. Famous dead person. Yeah. 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 Okay, and what's the name? Uh, that person is uh, in a prince, pre, uh, Diana Princess. Oh. Uh, I, I, I know uh, a little bit about, uh, about you, but um, I know uh, she was uh, a princess who the people love and okay she she died uh, 1990, 1987 I don't know but um, the, the the people felt uh, sad when she died in a in an accident in Paris. Yeah. In uh, okay. I think that most of the people admire her because of her. Uh, I don't know how to say it. Um, because of what she shared with other people. That's okay. that's a, a more more machine electricals a, in the person yes. a, was invent Nicola in the past. <clears throat> uh, why from e <clears throat> is very very important for 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 invent our future is a building for for science of Nikola Tesla yeah. for me okay would you like to ask to Diego Antonio? Obito, can you ask to Diego Antonio who is the person who he admire? Do you hear me, uh, Diego Antonio? Hi, Diego. Hi, Diego. Okay, I. It's not I, Diego, dear. Uh, it's her. Swiss for your question. Ah, please. Uh huh. And. For a country whose design you admire. Um. And why do you admire Suiza? Yes. Why? Ah. Um. Um. Uh, for its culture. Uh. <clears throat> the culture and its 
um, and la, la, lands, landscape, landscape, mm -hmm. landscape. Uh -huh. And who do you admire? And which Hello. country do you admire? Admire. Hello, Ana Maria. Hello, maybe. Hello, Rodrigo. Hello. Sorry, I don't know what happened, but I get disconnected from my phone, I'm but I'm, I'm back. <laughs> no, no problem, Ana Maria. What are you talking about at this moment? Um, and no one is perfect in this world, but she always try to help others that, that is in my yes. uh, because we always need to look for uh, or maybe try to uh, look for help others and that's something that Jesus Christ uh, taught us yes. and well, you know, when I help others I always feel better. I will feel really nice that uh, feelings very fulfilled. And so I really want to imitate that part of, of that person. And yes. it doesn't matter if I don't have money, I can help others, even though I don't have money. I can help with mm -hmm. many, uh, many ways, anyways. Uh, in different kind of ways, and um, well, that's my that. That's good. That's good. I and I admire and I admire that woman too. <laughs> but I I don't know about <laughs> what else to speak. Um, uh, the food. Food. Yeah, because of the topics that is on the images. Okay. But it's not a specific landmark that I would like to see, but in specific is the whole country. I like the beaches, the islands, the culture. In the biggest <laughs> stations there, I would like to visit Thailand. Okay, okay. One day, I hope so. <laughs> it's so far. Yeah. <laughs> oh, who else is here? Jose Francisco. Jose, yeah, Jose Peña. Are you there, Jose Peña? I don't have it. Okay. Maybe you don't like uh, Henry Cavill, the Superman? Oh. Superman. Do you know, uh -huh. Do you know who Henry Cavill is? Ah. Uh. No? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't worry. Maybe maybe you know, but you don't know the, the, the name. So but um, forget. <laughs> so that is the only uh actor maybe mm -hmm. that I that really likes.
Okay, welcome back. Now we're going to check uh, the information that you share about places, people that you admire, things that you like, things probably things you don't like, but uh, we're going to check it right now. We're going to wait a little bit. Okay, now I need a volunteer to talk about um, the things that you uh, talked right in the in the group. Okay. One volunteer. Yes, go ahead, Ana Maria. Uh, sorry, with me, me. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I forgot the name. But with Rodrigo and me, they Nevis. Mm -hmm. We were talk about um about a celebrity that we we admire or let me check oh on a country that we like to visit mm -hmm. maybe um um how do you say that an appliance that we would like to to have and well I was telling them that I would like to go to, I don't know if I'm right or not, or not, but uh, Suiza is Switzerland. Yeah, Switzerland, yes. Uh, Switzerland. Switzerland. Mm -hmm. So I would like to go there because I have heard that there is a really nice country and beautiful and it's almost a perfect country, but it's, it's really expensive. But okay. I would like to go there. <laughs> okay, you would go you would like to go to Switzerland. And yeah. since when did you want to go there? Um so when no. did you start when when did you start like liking this country? When I started to I don't know, maybe investigate what uh doc how do you say documentales? Documentary documentary and things like that i don't know i think it's, it's really interesting and i'm curious in order to check if everything that i have heard is through i don't know okay and who were you talking to about this this uh country who were you with in the group uh rodrigo and uh, nevis or Ibis. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Rodrigo and let's see. Nady Evis. Nady Evis? Yeah, Nady Evis, exactly. Nady Evis, I got it. <laughs> Nady okay. Evis. Evis. Okay. Okay, Nady Evis or Rodrigo. Can you tell me uh for example Can you tell me a conversation or actually a a sentence? With a defining clause or non-defining clause? About Switzerland, let's say. Or Rodrigo. Can you tell me like uh, about the, the information that Anna provided you about that it's a beautiful country, that it's expensive, right? Can you give me something like a sentence using that information? Um, um, Anna Maria would like to have a cream machine and she would like to visit Sweden mm -hmm. and, and Rodrigo would like to go to the Pisa Tower. It's a tower. Yeah. La Torre de Pisa. I don't know. Oh, how to Pisa say. Tower. <laughs> it's a tower. I thought it's a tower. Oh, Pisa Tower. Okay. Oh, Pisa, Pisa Tower. That's in Italy, right? And, and you, Nady, what do you want to do? Um. Or what is a person that you like, uh, an icon? Um. 
Eiffel Tower is an icon iconic place. <clears throat> iconic place, yes, it's a visit to yes. the, the uh, Eiffel Tower, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. So, for example, with Switzerland, we can create a sentence like this, right? Switzerland, uh, which is very beautiful, which is a very, uh, which is a beautiful country, right? A beautiful country is really expensive. Yes, okay. and I have heard that you can use the well the 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 toilet mm -hmm. um until ten p.m. because you cannot use the the water. I don't know how do you say that when you maybe push or when you um, when you flush it. Yes, fl flushing. Mm -hmm. Yes, you cannot do that for the noise. Uh, somebody can call to the police and the police can go to your house because you're making noise. Just for flushing the toilet? Yeah, after 10 p.m. After 10 p.m. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, or if the dogs are, are mm, oh my goodness. I don't know, maybe I'm tired. I <laughs> forgot everything. <laughs> you forget uh, how English. How do you say that? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, are how do you say that teacher um the 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 noise that they do with the, bark? the mouth bark yeah yeah <laughs> or if the dog are barking or something like that yes oh so they are they they respect like peace right and yeah. noise also right they don't want to be disturbed. okay I didn't know that Yes, because flushing the toilet probably it can be heard only in your house, right? Probably. Uh, but I didn't know probably the, the walls are too thin or probably you can listen to your neighbor. Yeah. Exactly. I didn't, yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> but it would be a good experience to visit Switzerland. Very good. Mm -hmm. Also visit the Pisa Tower, right? Uh, for example, Rodrigo, right? Rodrigo, who wants to visit wants to visit the pizza tower is can speak english right can speak english so that's something that we can do right with um these defining clauses right defining it or non-defining right or nady right nady who wants to visit right who wants to visit the Eiffel Tower is and, having class. Uh -huh. And it can be, I don't know, I'm not sure. That's why I'm asking. Mm -hmm. um, for example, Eiffel Tower, which is an icon, is visited for many people. Yes, actually, it's visited for many people. Yes, you can use it in that way, exactly. Uh, you can provide extra information, which is an icon, right? Or it's a landmark, which is a landmark. It's visited for many people. Yes, we can use defining clauses in that way. So, for example, Switzerland, which is a beautiful country, is really expensive. Is this a defining clause or non-defining clause? Relative clause. Is this a defining or non-defining relative clause? The, this one, Switzerland, which is a beautiful country, is really expensive. Okay, someone wrote in the chat. Oh, Zulma, okay. We have more examples here. So the first one, this one is a non-defining relative clause. Why? Because it doesn't make sense alone i don't know Switzerland, which is a beautiful country mm -hmm. we cannot have more information we sorry we don't have more information about that so okay very good very good uh, very good answer and number two rodrigo 
who wants to visit the pizza tower can speak English. Um, in this one is a defining clause or non-defining relative clause? Non-defining relative clause. Why? Why, Jose Francisco? Because we can understand that Rodrigo can speak English even if we don't say that he wants to visit the pizza tower. And we are using the information between commas. Exactly, very good. Uh, that's something that we can see, right? It's between commas. So if it is between commas, uh, we can, uh, the dog writer, we can think that um, this information is extra information. It's not essential, right? Because it's between commas and uh, we can move this and we can understand the important information is Rodrigo can speak English. So probably we are talking about the English class and everything. And, and just like a common, right? We can say uh, Rodrigo who wants to visit the Pisa Tower can speak English, right? So that is not essential. And the last one, Nady who wants to visit the Eiffel Tower is having classes right now. Is this a defining or non-defining relative clause? Who knows? Maybe defining. Why? Mm, because it's not between commas. No. Exactly. Well. <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> it is correct. It is because it's not between commas. The commas, they what they are trying to say is that this information is important. And if it is, if if we don't see any comma, right, uh, in the clause, it's saying this information is important. That's what it says. Yes, that's what it's trying to say. It's correct. Anna, very good. Nady, who wants to visit the Eiffel Tower, is having classes right now. So that information is important, but depending on the context, right? Now, um, we know how to identify it in the, in the sentence, but uh, also the context is really important. Also, Zuma wrote some, info, some sentences here. It says, I admire the employers who are a group of women in Mexico who help immigrants by giving them food on the banks of the train tracks, I admire them for their act of kindness. Okay, here we have who are a group of women in Mexico who help immigrants, right? So we have here uh, two clauses and they are correct, right? They are the, not uh, defining relative clauses. We don't have commas, right? We don't have commas. Who help immigrants by giving them food on the banks of the train tracks. So we have here, this is the... Um, then uh, defining relative clause who are a group of women in Mexico, right? So we are we are uh, describing this information that the uh, information, the essential information is that they are in Mexico. They belong uh, to Mexico. Let's see another person who talked uh, in groups, right? And these conversations about icons and people and things you admire. Another person who wants to participate to provide more examples. Alguien más? Somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, Liu. Who, who did you talk to? Who were you working with? I was working with Marcela, Ovito, mm -hmm. Diego Antonio, and me. Okay, um, and what did, you, what did you mention when you were talking? Well, <clears throat> uh, we were talking about a famous person. Mm -hmm. Not places. Uh, for example, Marcela uh, talked to us, talk us that the person who she admired was Casanova. Who is Casanova? Casanova. Uh, Marcela, would you like to explain who is Casanova? Who is who is Casanova, Marcela? <laughs> he isn't a. Uh so famous uh but well i met him on um youtube video he make videos from youtube mm -hmm. and well uh, he is a catholic apologist and well i learned a lot about him um and about his understanding of his face mm -hmm. and well i really might uh, uh, uh 
people who are very resilient and he is very resilient because he suffered a lot in the past, in his past. Mm -hmm. And well, I really met him. And well, uh, before I met him, I was very close to mine, but watching a video of him uh, awakened my curious. And well, I, I that's really, I, I appreciate. Okay, and uh, he talks about his life or he talks about something in specific like um well uh, he talks about uh, his conversion life mm -hmm. it's uh, complicated to talk about that because it is uh, very difficult but uh well he was in the past he was very Mm, arrogant, mm -hmm. but he learned uh, to have uh, to always to be thirsty of knowledge, and I, me too, I really this of about knowledge, and well, that's it. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. I, I don't. I don't know uh, Casanova, and I have. I've never watched the videos. Probably I will try to Google it or try to look for it. Just to check, uh, because you admire Casanova, that's what you said, right? So we can create a sentence here, right? With probably a, a defining or non-defining. Uh, Marcela, who admires Casanova, right? It's is really challenging. <laughs> it's really interested in YouTube videos, right? In YouTube videos. Okay, very good. And uh, what else, Elio? What else did you talk about? Well, Jovito <clears throat> talked about a famous person who he admired mm -hmm. was Nicolas Telsa. Telsa. Nicolas Te Telsa? Telsa. Nicolas Telsa. He's an uh, inventor of uh, uh, electric automobile. Mm -hmm. Or many very important in invents inventions nikola tesla oh, okay nikola tesla right very good and uh why do you admire nikola tesla jose jovito uh, for me uh, for invent more important for the humanity is invent acdc the current acdc Mm -hmm. And what is... what do what do we do with that? Do we create like electricity, energy, or do uh, how how do we use current uh, that invention that he created? He he create uh -huh. create a ACDC hmm. uh, using induction camp. Uh huh. And with that, mm -hmm. uh, ACDC, like, uh, <clears throat> what can we do with that? Like, we yeah. use it for what nowadays, uh -huh. for example? And for, uh -huh. a generator, a AC, generator AC, un generador AC. <clears throat> and that creates like AC, like, like a, a AC air conditioner, no, right? <laughs> Sorry, no, 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 no. It's a, it's, it's a wheel carrier, wheel carrier. in 19, 19, 19, 20, 28. Is <clears throat> other, other, other scientific carrier. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Nikola Tesla, eh, for me, eh, digamos que el invento más importante fue el generador AC. Mm -hmm. And what can we do with with the uh, generator AC generator? Generator AC is is for me, for example, hydroelectric, hydroelectric uh, three February, for example. Mm -hmm. This is an example for generator a AC. He is a renewable. Okay, so it's mm -hmm. like energy, right? 
Okay, sí, sí, es energy uh, a escala, es energía a escala, generación de energía a escala. Oh, okay, and uh, you study, you're studying engineering, or are you an engineer? I, I engineers is actually, I study un master in energy renewables in Universidad Nacional, University, National University. Oh, okay. So that's why, right? You know a lot about this. Very good. Actually, I just Google it. Actually, some of Tesla okay. discovery that we can cite include alternating current motor, radar, x-rays, right? Wireless electrical uh, energy transfer, remote control. So a lot of things, right, are uh, related to um, this kind of energy, right? Measurement tools, climate control. So yes, he did a lot of things, right? Sí. Very, very good, very interested. Very interested. He is, uh -huh. he is father of the future. Yes, exactly, because he, yeah. with that invention, probably we are using it with different things that are really useful nowadays. Very good, Jose, it's very interesting. Let's see, uh, we can create also a clause with this information, right? Jose Jovito, who admires, um, see, Nicola, Nicola is with K, right? Nikola Tesla is, is studying in University of El Salvador. Master. A master degree, right? Very good. L, L, oh, sorry. Salvador is studying a master degree, right? Very good. Very good. And what else did they mention, Elio? Something else? Well, I <clears throat> I mentioned by myself. Uh, I I I mentioned to Marcela mm -hmm. that a fam a famous person who I admire is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Because he died for us to give salvation and eternal life to everyone that believe in him. Okay, so uh, you you admire Jesus Christ, right? Yes. Okay, very good. So, are you a very religious person, Elio? Yes. Okay. I try. And, right. <laughs> and you have always been like that or in the past you were uh, less religious or the same level I belong to a family that believe in Jesus Christ mm -hmm. since I was a children mm -hmm. and I grew up in believing and living that kind of life Okay, very okay. interesting. Yeah, because sometimes is uh or family, right? Or sometimes it's because we have like different stories, everybody's different, and sometimes people are, are like not very religious and something happened in their lives and then they change, right? But in your case, you have always been like that, right? Very religious yes. because of your family, and okay, very good. So Elio who admires because it's third person, right? Jesus Christ, but my Jesus Christ has a very religious family. Family. Okay, very good. Now we have three sentences. Are these uh, three sentences uh, defining clauses or non-defining relative clauses? Marcela, who admires Casanova, is really interested in YouTube videos. Jose, who admires Nikola Tesla, is studying a master's degree in the University of El Salvador. And Elihu, who admires Jesus Christ, has a very religious family. Are these defining or non-defining relative clauses? What do you think? For example, number one is defining or non-defining? Defining. 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 Very good. Defining. Number Number two? The one for Jose? Is defining relative clause. Defining, very good. Defining relative clause. And the last one? 
I think that the three sentences are defined in relative clause. Exactly. The three sentences are defined in relative clauses. So you can start practicing like this, right? Like um, with the information that you have, you can start practicing these clauses in this way, right? Like uh, if it is defining, non-defining, if I want to give more information, less information. Um, let's see, someone else, the last one, someone who wants to participate about the group that you talk with, Agimas, the last one. Someone, no one? Nobody else? Uh, we were talking about another famous person. Who else? Like Gabriel Garcia Marquez, mm -hmm. uh, Maria Teresa de Calcuta, uh, oh, also, we I mentioned Barack Obama. Three Barack Obama. Famous person. And what did you talk about, Gabriel Garcia Marquez? What What did you mention? Well, that is a is a a genius of the literature literature because he described the 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 way of life of the people in the rural areas in some part of the Latin America. Okay, and who mentioned Gabriel Garcia Marquez? Uh, well, uh, both of us, uh, the group was talking about. Oh, okay. Marcela, Marcela, uh, Jovito, I was talking with Jovito, Marcela, Antonio. I oh, talk okay. about, yes. So it's a genius uh, for, uh, from literature, right? A literature genius. And do you know any of his books? Like any good book to read? Yes, Cien Años de Soledad. <clears throat> yes. How do you say Cien Años of de Soledad in, in English? I, I have in la punta de la lengua, but... <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's not the way that we think. One hundred years of solitude. Of, 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 yes, exactly. One hundred years of solitude. I think I use this a very good. Yes, actually, that's one of my favorite books. And where is he from? Do you know? He's from Colombia. He's from Colombia. He's a literature from Colombia. From Macondo. He writes about Macondo. Exactly from Colombia. So we can uh, describe someone like this, right? So, uh, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, comma, who is a genius, uh, a literature genius, right? We are going to write it like that. A literature genius is from Colombia. Very good, perfect. And what do you say about Barack Obama? Good things or bad things? Good things, uh -huh. because... Uh... Because in the in the story in the story, in the United States story, mm -hmm. the black people have been have been okay have been uh, despreciados or or visto de menos, mm -hmm. and he became with. Became, becoming a person of color, he became the first president of the United States. Denigrated. Well, and the, and, yes. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. With with he he increased by himself studying and, and prepared a, a be a good lawyer. Is uh, the 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 point of the point is that what the education can do for a for change a, a person, for for the education, the the study, the the perseverance. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Education is really important. That's why, right? Uh, because if you're more educated, it doesn't mean that you're better or you are. But, but you know more about the the world, history, and different things, right? And you know more about 
uh, cultures. And actually, yes, he was the first black president in the United States. And he is a lawyer. I didn't know that. That's his profession. Yes, he's a lawyer. Yes. He's okay. A lawyer. Okay. First black president. So we can create a new uh, sentence. It's Barack Obama, who was, right, the first black American pre president, right? Yes. American is with capital letter, right? Why? Yep. Because he's a nationality. Very good. He's a good lawyer. So we can write this sentence like this. Barack Obama, who was the first black American president, is a good lawyer. So these two sentences, uh, the one, uh, the first one from Gabriel Garcia Marquez and the last one uh, for Barack Obama, are they defining clauses or non-defining clauses, the, the relative clauses? Because we are using comma, mm -hmm. we can say that it's non-defined relative clause, but I think that has important things that be belongs to all of that person. Those exactly, exactly. <laughs> Actually, the, uh, as you already mentioned, you they are really important information, right? Uh, it's essential, probably. Also, probably sometimes it's not that it's not important, but we already know that or everybody knows that, and it's not uh, that relevant, right? So everybody knows that uh, Gabriel Garcia Marquez is a genius. He was a very good writer. And everybody knows that Barack Obama was uh, the the first Black American president, right? So it's, it's, it's important in history, but probably uh, everybody knows that. So uh, right now, probably it's not relevant because that everybody knows that information. So probably someone yeah. who doesn't know uh, that Gabriel Garcia Marquez was from Colombia or that Barack Obama was a good lawyer, that is the essential information, right? It depends on the context, right? So, yes. yeah, very good, very good. Now, we still have some material to cover. Uh, this was a very good um, a very good exercise. So for um, probably Monday, right? I didn't know, probably Monday, but I will I will make sure to let you know. We are going to continue with this. We are going to talk about jobs, something that you like, because that is one of the objectives, right? In the in this class, participants will learn and practice using expression relating to problems problem solving. So uh, try to investigate about jobs. Try to like think about something in English. If, if it is possible, write a paragraph. Like if you like your job, what do you do for your job? And why is it important, right, to do your job? Why is it important? Like, for example, we have engineers here. Uh, we have, I don't know, different um, professions, right? So why is it important to do your job? And if you like it or if you don't like it and why? That will be the homework for probably Thursday or Monday. I will let you know on Thursday. So we are going to finish right now. Actually, we cover we cover everything about the defining clauses. We are going to review that um, next class. I don't know if you have any question right now. Preguntas, questions. No questions. No question. Okay, very good. So uh, we are going to see you next time at eight. Have a nice evening and uh, have a happy uh, Mother's Day, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank good you. night. Good night, thank have a nice evening. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good, good, night. Good, good night. Good night. Good night.